We've got some exciting updates to the social planner this week, along with bulk contact tag updates and more coming your way in this week's weekly breakdown right now. What's up guys, it's Michael McAllister with Empower LO. We are jumping into this week's weekly breakdown where first off, we have an update to the reputation settings UI. UI stands for user interface. So basically, this is just uh, how you interact with reputation settings. If you didn't know, you have automated uh, review management essentially. Some of it is based on AI inside of your high level account. Uh, if you go into reputation the first, and, and you go over to settings, this is the new interface for interacting with settings in here. Um, so the first thing that you're gonna notice is that you have reviews AI. Um, pay attention, reviews AI might be turned on by default. We've seen that happen a couple times before. Um, that can be a little scary when you're not expecting AI to respond to your reviews, uh, and then you see a response come in. Pretty cool feature if you're looking for it, but if you're not, uh, it can catch you by surprise. So pay attention to that. Um, but if you go through, this is all new as far as how you interact with this. Very clean, um, very smooth in how you interact with it. Now here's the thing. For a long time, we didn't leverage review requests. And obviously you can see in our internal marketing account, we don't currently, um, we didn't, but for a long time, we didn't recommend even leveraging review requests. Um, but honestly, that came from a misunderstanding in how you can use this or how you use this feature. The problem with review requests, as opposed to using a workflow to send your review requests, is that you don't get the, like, you don't get the opportunity to set up any logic within it. But here's the thing, what most people don't know is that you can actually go into workflows and let's just, here, I'll just create a blank one. Oops, that's not a blank one. And this is actually an action in here, okay? So you actually, you put the review request action inside of your logic. So you can have your logic that asks them what their experience is like and only sends them the review request if it's a five-star review. But then by, by initiating it as a review request, you get a couple perks like um, being able to track when they actually click the review request, um, being able to, yeah, so you can see it right here. If I turn this on, these are my options, right? So when do I wanna send it after I check them in? Um, we probably would do nothing there right um, but until clicked so you can tell it to keep sending the same message which again is why um, why we liked workflows before is we like to be able to customize that messaging um, but again this is something that you, you use to supplement a workflow uh, to really drive review adoption dr drive getting more reviews okay so you can establish your links in here you can set up a custom link mm -hmm. etc so check it out a uh, new ui for interacting with reputation settings inside your account all right, next up, just a quick plug for templates as usual. Um, this don't, won't be the first, or this won't be the only time I, I plug a couple templates on this weekly breakdown. Uh, this one is specifically, I'm just showing you surveys. Remember last week I showed you that we can actually sort by most recent. So as long as you get familiar with the sur with the templates that are relevant to your niche, um, specifically mortgage, right? And I say relevant to your niche because um, I, I shouldn't have said it that way. The point is like, as long as you're familiar with the ones that you want to be familiar with, um, whether that means, you know, you keep your eye on a couple different niches or you only look at the one that says real estate and you're looking for mortgage related ones, get familiar with those and then come in. And anytime I'm shouting out new templates, you can just come up here, sort by most recent, and you'll be able to see all of the templates that came out since the last time you checked. Pretty cool. Um, let, just a little plug high level every week is announcing that they rolled out new templates. So I wanted to jump in and show you here. All right, next up, we have an update to community features. This is the ability to make channels private. This is a really cool feature inside of our community. So um, if you didn't know, Empower Elite members are all part of a private community. This is not on Facebook, right? We hate Facebook. This actually lives inside of everybody's CRM. Um, well, I say we hate Facebook, I hate Facebook. Um, but uh, this, this lives inside of everybody's high level account so they can go straight to it, right? We have our group in here, um, but now we have the ability to go in here, go to one of these channels and go to settings and change it to a private channel, which makes it so that we can only, uh, basically only the people that we assign directly to that channel uh, can see the interactions and the discussions. So this is pretty cool, uh, adds for a layer of potentially in our case, like adding another premium level act like premium access level channel um but uh but yeah you do with it what you will um pretty cool especially i, I think for those of you guys that want to do a community around first-time home buyers investors something like that um check this out for sure 
All right, next up, we've got updates to the bulk tag architecture. Um, in a nutshell, this means it's faster, smoother, more reliable is what they're saying. Um, we also got a couple new added features with bulk tags that are pretty cool. Um, if we go, you have these add tags, remove tag buttons. We've always had the ability to do these, um, but we now have with remove tag, we also have the ability to select remove all tags with the click of a button, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and then if you do any bulk remove it within your bulk action here you'll have um, you'll have the ability to come in and hit this restore button so if you mess something up if you didn't mean to remove the tags that you removed make sure you jump into bulk actions over here and you're actually gonna have the ability to restore uh, and unwind what you did so that's another cool feature of the new tag architecture um, be sure to check it out if you if you work with tags a lot which I know a lot of you do all right next up we have some announced updates in labs let me see let me make sure I have these lab I know I have these labs features enabled okay so remember labs if you don't if you don't check this frequently come in here and make sure you're enabling any of these that you want to see you can watch the weekly breakdowns to see if they pertain to you if the features pertain to you in this case they've got some updates to the list view of opportunities you now can sort by a couple more uh, a couple more options whereas before it was just date created date updated last stage change last status change Here's the thing though, it, this is not ready. This like I, like this is definitely a labs feature. Um, if you sort by stage, I'm getting an error on one of my pipelines. If I move my pipeline and I go to say a different pipeline and I sort by stage, best case scenario, I can sort stages alphabetically, but that's not the, but that's the thing. In an opportunity pipeline, you wanna be able to sort by stage based on this, right? You want to be able to sort by chronological order. So if I define that chronological order and I sort by stage in here, then I would like, I think that I would like to be able to see those grouped by stage in order, uh, in the same order that it is here, right? Maybe that's just a preference thing. Maybe I'm being too nitpicky. Um, but I know as I, I know the other thing that I'm excited and waiting for is for us to be able to access this stuff in the dashboard, which I tested and we're not able to do yet. So definitely a labs feature. This opportunity list view is cool. It's a different way of interacting with your opportunities than the Kanban pipeline. Um, specifically those of you that are doing a high volume of lead, like lead gen, this is a really cool, uh, way to knock out a lot of tasks at a time, a lot of follow-ups at a time. Um, so stay tuned. The opportunity list view is improving. Uh, we expect to be able to create custom lists, smart lists soon based on opportunities. This is going to be a really, really cool feature when it's done, but it's not quite there yet. All right. Next up, really, really excited to announce. We now have the ability to post to YouTube from inside the social planner. Guys, I don't even know of a social planning tool that allows you to do this. Of course, I don't pay that much attention to those kind of tools anymore because I don't need to. I've got high level, right? Um, but this is really cool. If you come in here, um, you connect your, your YouTube channel, just like you would connect any of your social channels. It was really easy for me to do so. Um, you can type out your content here. You're not going to have options for story or real because those aren't relevant. Obviously, um, you have your tagging options, your hashtag options, etc. And then down here, you have the ability to choose your title, choose whether it's a video or a short. Um, choose your privacy level. You can schedule a follow-up comment, apply a watermark. All, guys, this is really, really cool. Check it out. If you're on YouTube and you're not using the social planner already, here's one more reason to use that social planner. Uh, jump in there. Let us know what you think. All right. Speaking of the social planner and that new YouTube feature, I've got uh, something cool to show you related to that. But before I do that, one more plug for templates here. I've sorted by most recent. These are all the email templates that they're loading in. And again, every single week we're getting new templates in here. So be sure to check it out. Doesn't matter if it like, I wouldn't use the copy for a mortgage template in here anyways. You're just looking for look and feel. You're looking for something, you know, a, a template that you can then customize, make your own and use consistently in your email marketing. And you have so many choices to do that. But that's not why we're here. Why we're here is because we now have the ability to, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna show and not tell. So just one second, we're gonna go into real estate. Let's go into a mortgage one just for fun. Now, actually this isn't, you don't have to have your YouTube profile, you don't have to have your YouTube profile integrated to be able to do this. This is just a new, uh, somewhat unrelated, but related feature where now you can take a video element. You can come in here and 
you can drop your YouTube, you can drop your URL for a YouTube short and it'll format it in the correct size and be able to embed in your email. Really, really cool functionality. Um, I say embed, that might not be the right word. I don't know if it actually plays within the email. We'll have to test that out. Um, or if it's just the thumbnail and then clicks to YouTube, I'm not 100% sure, we'll test that out. Um, but shorts are now supported within the email builder when you're sending emails um, just by dropping that URL, really cool feature. All right, guys, that is it for this week's weekly breakdown. Uh, the biggest thing, obviously, the, the adding YouTube to the social planner, this is really cool. And then again, if you're not leveraging communities yet or you haven't thought about that, just start getting your wheels turning, turning around this, guys. Community, like community marketing is the future of of marketing and this is i mean it's the future and the present but what i mean by that is it's going to get more and more powerful over time not less and so you should be investing in it it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a virtual community but that tool inside of high level is definitely a really powerful tool to help you facilitate community so that being said check it out thank you so much for watching stay tuned for next week next week we'll see you at the top